Hello everybody, I'm the Gaming King 6107 here, back with some more Pokemon Center information now. Now that's time I said, now, now, on the last video I posted, I said that I missed out on a lot of Center information. So now I'm good for over like the past two weeks or so, but now, but in this video I'm basically go going to cover Basically, most of what we saw in the past two weeks in this vi video, and give you my thoughts on the entire thing at the e end, and like, like all the Pokemon and stuff, stuff like the amount of Pokemon we were shown. So yeah, let's get right to to this. So we first off, we have the first legendary Pokemon of Pokemon Serum Moon revealed, and his name is Tapu Koko. Tapu Koku, I believe that's what we called. And it's in an electric fairy type, and this is actually a very interesting type because it's a type that really hasn't been sh shown or used that much. And, and yeah, this is actually something I'm looking forward to. And its ability, I believe, if I had to double check, let me look this up. Uh, is electric surge which activates electric terrain when being sent out and, and if you don't know what electric terrain is it basically boosts the electric type moves by 50 percent and so yeah that's actually pretty cool plus the fact that it's a fairy type that did that extra coverage so yeah so yeah this is going to be pretty awesome and it's also shown that this pokemon is going to be a legendary and, and it's all weird that they're reviewing a legendary pokemon this early Usually, you don't get legendary Pokemon until like the end. And it's actually so weird that they're showing off a legendary Pokemon this year. So, next up is we have the Pikachu clone of Pokemon Ceremon Togedemaru. Now, it's electric steel typing with the ability Iron Rod and Lightning Rod. And I'm sort of on the fence with this Pokemon, to be honest with you. But if I had to decide, I'd say I don't really like this Pokemon. Man, it just looks weird. I mean, I did really like the Dene, hey, but this Pokemon I don't really like as much. I think the Dene looks better. And honestly, the electric steel typing could be useful, but I don't see it working out that well. Well, it's the only Pokemon that can make it work is Magnum, my Magnus Zone. So yeah. So next up is we have Cutify, a Bug Fairy type with the ability Honey, Honey Gather and Shield Dust. Now, you see, what does Honey Flower do? I actually have no idea, but but it's actually rather interesting. Interesting. It's um, uh, it's bug fairy type is rather interesting. Cause, cause it's, cause it's something that we've never really been used before. And if you look at it, you do see bug and fairy. Now, honey gather is basically allows you to basically get more honey. So, so this actually raises some questions. So does this mean Honey will be returning in Pokemon Sun and Moon because it basically allows you to get a honey, and basically, it's as I mean here, it basically allows you, you to get more XP. I'm not sure, I'm just reading this off of Boardpedia, guys. Don't quote me on this, but it's actually sort of interesting that. They're actually bring this ability, so yeah, this is actually very weird that they're making this ability come back. And now we have Shield Dust, Dust and it negates all secondary effects, just no secondary effects. So, for instance, if you have Body Slam, you won't get paralyzed, so yeah, that's pretty interesting. But unless it gets a second evolution, I don't think it's going to be much useful. I mean, yeah, looking at it, it looks, looks alright, I guess it serves its purpose, but yeah, it does not look that good, to be honest with you. Next, we have Roxas, 
probably the, the my personal most ugliest Pokemon out there. Yeah. It gets the ability Dazzling and Strong Draw, in which is a Water Psychic type. Now, Water Psychic, I think, can be useful, but yeah. Yeah, there aren't really that many good physical psychic type moves besides Zen Hit, but I didn't psycho cut. And, and just by it, it's going to be a physical attack because of Strong Draw, unless they do a Pyroid and screw it up, making it a special attacker. And the ability that the new ability Dazzling is prevents moves with an increasing speed priority from hitting. So Basically, it prevents moves like extreme speed, Alcajet, Bog Punch from hitting first, I believe. But yeah, so yeah, I do not like this Pokemon. And speaking of Pokemon I don't like, Drampa! What the? It's a normal dragon type. Type. Uh, yeah, it looks weird. I mean, compared to Gudra, what. I mean, what's Game Freak thinking with this Pokemon? It just looks weird, to be honest with you. Like, usually when I think of Drag, I just think of monstrous creatures, but Drampa, uh, I don't really see it. It gets the ability Berserk and Sap Super. Now, Berserk increases special attack when HP reaches 50%. So, yeah, that is actually pretty useful. Useful, and I could actually see that be of use. So yeah, and yeah. So I have, but still, the dropper. I don't. But it's designed. Yeah, I don't really like. Now on to more. Po now on to a Pokemon designs I do actually like is is Cherubok and Vikafold. Now, but I first saw this. I if you told me this was was an evolution of Grubbin. I'd be like, are you crazy? But the more I look at Cherbuck, I can sort of s in Wake of Out, I can sort of see that it's an evolution of Goobud. I can sort of see it now. Cherbuck's ability is battery now. Let me see what battery does. It increases the power of an Ag Special special move so this increases like a special attack I get, so I guess it increases in high special attack uh, so I guess that's sort of useful in doubles and V fault is the Pokemon I do like out of the of all the other uh, region regions Pokemon so I brain for I forgot what region this Pokemon is from so here's a 3d bar of Chobug it looks all right actually like, like it looks like a like a lunchbox. It looks exactly what I thought it would be. And then we have Vikavolk. Now its design looks badass. I do actually love its design, and, and I, I cannot wait to use this guy in game. Now we also have the new Pokemon Salandit, which is a poison fire type with the ability corrosion. Now poison fire. Yeah, I t never thought I'd see the day I'd see this type. Mostly because it has a four times weakness to earthquake and basically has a lot of what's my card? A lo lot of weaknesses. So see this Pokemon as a in game. Yeah, I'm actually excited for it. For it, it has yeah. So. So it has a ability corrosion which allows it to poison any Pokemon. So Skarmory can get poisoned, Mega Venusaur can get po poison, Klefki could get poison. So yeah, this is actually an interesting ability and some So yeah, I couldn't make it useful and competitive, it could not. We just have to wait and see. But I do love its design. Its ability is pretty cool, so yeah. Next up we have Wimpod. Uh, it's bug water type. I mean, it has the ability Wimp Out, which basically means if it's below, if its HP is below 50%, it either runs away from battle 
or, or swap out for another Pokemon. Now, this I could also see being used in comparative play. Like, if it's below 50, like, if it's like a focus as Pokemon, 50%. Oh, oh, got some damage. Now your attacks return to, like, another Pokemon. So, yeah, I can actually see this working out. Now we have Bounce Sweet, which is just a grass type. I'm not even sure what this is. It's, it's Leaf Guard, which means in the sun, it it basically doesn't allow status because this is in oblivious, which is basically, I think, like, unaware. Just like by this, it looks like it's going to be, like, a t it's going to be a tank. But I'm not a huge fan of since Grass-type Pokemon aren't really the best of tanks. I mean, look at Mangania and Torterra. They aren't very really good tanks. And now we have Comfy, the, the Flowerville Pokemon. And basically, another Pokemon that's a bit... Very grass. Yes, it has flower veil and triage. Now try it makes restoration move gain the highest priority. I think that means like like restore moves like heal bill and recover allows it to go first if I'm not mistaken. Thinking so yeah. Just as I by this Pokemon, it looks alright to be honest with you. It, I don't hate it nor like it. It's alright. Now we have Mud Sale. Dale. Uh, and it's basically a horse Pokemon. It's just ground. It has the ability on Tipu and Stamina. Now, this ability is actually pretty good. Good. Increases the defense by one every time it's hit by an attack. So, basically, this is going to be a pretty good ability. So, basically, if you hit this gu guy, its defense is going to go up tremendously. And we all know how her power arm works. Can you imagine this guy? Guy, it's gonna be pretty good in battle. Now, next up is the yeah, Mimikyu. It's a ghost fairy type, and its ability is disguise. Now, this is actually looks like a pretty good, cool Pokemon, a ghost fairy. Okay? And basically, disguise is like a focus ass before focus ass even happens. And I was. No wait, that's I asked the Pokemon to escape the from an enemy attack just one time, and then it changes its its, its appearance. So does that mean once it gets hit we'll see he mimicues true form? This is actually pretty interesting. interesting. So yeah, it's basically like a focus as so it's like get hit, you don't get dealt any damage. So yeah. Uh, and basically but I can't actually wait to use so next up we have Beware, yeah, the normal fighting type Pokemon, and, and it's actually pretty cool in the trailer how it just squares up against Pingo, who's also a normal fighting, actually no, just a dark fighting type Pokemon, uh, and yeah, so, so yeah, it looks pretty cool, well, and I sort of actually like this Pokemon a but you actually like this Pokemon. I think it looks cuddly, to be honest with you. It just looks cuddly. So, yeah. It has the ability Fluffy. Has the damage ticket from attack that makes the combat. But in return, it also damages the double stand from fire type moves. Interesting. So, so this is actually a very in interesting bird because it basically has the damage from physical attacks but doubles fire type moves so yeah this is actually a pretty interesting ability to be honest with you and so i hate to be hit get hit with a flame through with this guy and next up we have new features like host your your own competition using the pokemon global link huh this is actually pretty interesting because hosting your own competition will be actually pretty fun like coaching on competition, like oh you can only use psychic, or you can only use use dragon type. This will actually be a pretty fun thing to use using game. Now we have hyper training, which is basically like EV training, training, and but this is for IVs. For those of you who don't who are unaware and comparative battling, there are two things in Pokemon called EV and IVs, which determines if it's a good Pokemon or not for comparative battling. And this 
And so far we had EV training, which raises your EVs, but now we have IV training, so which means it, we, it won't be as big of a pain to basically breed, but we'll, you just have to breed for abilities from now on, so yeah. This is actually pretty cool, because IV training for me is just a pain. <laughs> pain. And that's all the Pokemon Sun and Moon information we got. Uh, now, now, basically, this basically tells me one or two, one thing. Just from all the Pokemon that we've been shown, it looks like we're going to be seeing a lot of Pokemon. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I'm the Gaming King 697 and I'll see y'all later. Bye.